fantastic speaker, and thank you for thank you for doing the photograph. You guys are great. Uh, I was really nervous before I came on, and then I looked out and saw how many children are here today. And if you could please find one, give them a high five and a massive clap, massive clap. They're amazing. And the best thing about today for me is that I spend my entire career telling people to stop talking all day, all day, but just stop, stop talking. And today I get to, to please, please don't stop talking because the conversations that you are having are changing lives. Right? By speaking out and opening your hearts, you are giving the young people, some of them are here today, and future generations, an incredible gift because they are receiving these messages and they are hearing people, just like the people in their families and everybody they know, telling them that whoever they grow up to be and whatever family they come from, they are equal. Yeah. And wouldn't it be just amazing if our laws told them that too? So the messages that you're spreading and the conversations you're having, they're not just winning votes, they are changing lives. And as Max said earlier, your conversations can save lives. And thanks to you, conversations are happening in staff rooms, in schools, very, very slowly, but they're happening. And I am really, really proud of the straight teachers and LGBT te teachers who are speaking out and are talking about inequality in their lives and the effect it has on their pupils. And many of them are here today, so thank you so much. And for many of them, they are doing this despite the fact that Section 37.1 exists and our Employment Equality Act, which means that still, in 2015, in over 90% of our schools, you can be discriminated against by that school if you go against their religious ethos. Shame. 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 And I think that by voting yes and letting people like me marry the person that they love, where is she? There's more to fight <laughs> It will bring us that one small step closer to being viewed as equals to our colleagues. And because of people like you, a few schools are beginning to acknowledge the steps that every school in Ireland is already supposed to take to prevent homophobic and transphobic bullying. And I hope soon that these steps aren't going to just exist on paper, but in the daily life of our schools. And finally, I teach 11-year-olds. Any 11-year-olds here today? A couple of them? And they, and 12, thank you. They are so clued in. They have smartphones and brains and most of all, opinions. And just as they talked about Zayn leaving One Direction, the water chargers and the Ebola breakout, they had a lot of opinions on marriage equality. But these are my favourites from my class. One boy said, well, of course gay people should be able to get married. Everybody should. But my problem is, how do you choose who to love? And his best mate turns to him and says, don't worry about it, your heart will tell you. Aww. I couldn't give him homework after that one. <laughs> but my very favourite is this. This is from one girl in my class. I think we should let gay people get married because there will be more happiness and more wedding cakes. <laughs> and I like happiness and I love cake. <laughs> so I'll be voting yes. She can't vote, but you can. And it's not the leaving cert we're asking you to do, it's just a simple multiple choice with one simple question and one simple answer. And that is yes, 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 not just for you, but for every single child in our schools and all the future generations to come. Vote yes, thank you.